Hey everybody, welcome to Build. Uh, we're really excited to be here to present a session about Windows subsystem for Android and what are the opportunities for mobile developers. With me joining today, we have John Kirk, who is the Director of Content and App Partner Engagement at Amazon. Welcome, John. And we also have Zerna Kieran Desai, who is a software engineer at Microsoft. Welcome, Zerna. And I'm Raman Kohli. I'm the Principal PM Lead with Apps Partners and Store Team within the Windows organization at Microsoft. So let's begin with our vision. What has been Microsoft's vision as part of our store and as part of Windows related to Windows subsystem for Android. I want to start by saying that Windows is the most open platform on this planet for creators. Uh, part of our living our commitment to openness is welcoming, welcoming partner technologies such as from Amazon, as well as content from various developers to deliver powerful experiences for our customers. Now, when we launched Windows 11 back in 2021, we announced a brand new Microsoft Store. And, and part of that was how we showcased the best experiences from developers you know, like yourselves, uh, including a flexible and a transparent commerce model, as well as the introduction of the Android apps on Windows, uh, which was supported through the Windows subsystem for Android, as well as through Amazon App Store. Uh, it's been an extremely rewarding experience to build this experience in partnership with Amazon App Store and with you, our developer community. There's a ton of synergies on both teams that have, that have brought this product to life, and we clearly have an exciting opportunity ahead. John, I want to start with you first. What is Amazon App Store on Windows 11? Well, thanks. You know, if you're not familiar with Amazon App Store, it's the digital store that supports a variety of Amazon devices from Fire TVs to Fire tablets and also third party Android devices. We support over 200 million devices in consumers' hands worldwide. We're super excited about our Windows 11 partnership because we think it presents a sizable opportunity for existing Android mobile developers to reach entirely new customers. With Microsoft's development of the Windows subsystem for Android, the apps and games on Amazon App Store are now made available for Windows users to download and install and play with. So existing mobile apps can now reach PC gamers. Very exciting. And I'm sure to, to our audiences, you want to know, what are some of the investments that we, Microsoft, are making to making the WSA platform great for our end users, and of course, also for our developers? I do want to start, as I was touching earlier, about the Microsoft Microsoft Store that, first of all, all the Android applications that we are we, we get from the Amazon App Store, uh, these are first-class citizens within the Microsoft Store. They're all discoverable within the store, uh, just like all the any any of the native Windows applications that are part of our Microsoft Store. Also, they appear just like our native applications as part of our editorials that are available in the store. As part of search results, when you search for titles, content is part of Microsoft Store. Uh, you will see them as part of our inline ratings and reviews. And in fact, you can also share direct links to these Android applications as part of your marketing, as well as your social activities. So some, some super exciting stuff that we are providing um, you know, to, to our users and to developers as part of the store. Zerna, you're part of our engineering team who's been building these capabilities as part of our platform. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anything else you want to add on top of this? Exactly as you said. We want to make it as an experience that's similar to a Windows app. So like Android app and Windows app, you shouldn't find any like difference while you're looking at it. If you keep it side by side, it should just be this name. You should be able to Windows snap layouts. You can pin them to the start menu, taskbar, interact with them with the mouse, touch, pin. And most of all, you can see Android notifications on Windows. You can use the camera. So yeah, that's going to be like a very integrated experience and we want to make sure it's a uniquely integrated and native experience for users. So hope you like it. That's fantastic. These are all super exciting features, especially from a user's point of view, you can't tell the difference between an Android application that's running on Windows and a native application running on Windows. So with that, I do want to quickly jump to the opportunity here, both for Microsoft as well as for, for, for Amazon. So. 
I want to start by first saying, as, as, as we've shared this before, there are hundreds of millions of users around the world that are using Windows 11, especially as we think about the 30 markets where we're targeting the WSA experience. And so the audience here includes anywhere from casual gamers, to students, to professionals, to parents, uh, and, 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 and many other and many other seminal roles that they use essentially Windows PCs in their daily lives. So there's clearly an opportunity for us to reach these wide uh, range of audiences. Uh, on top of this, I'm also excited to tell to share that, you know, as Microsoft, we're making a ton of uh, investments in bringing PC casual gaming experience uh, to to our laptops, to our PCs, working with uh, you know Android game developers and and other similar game gaming companies. So there's clearly a big opportunity for developers to tap into this part of the story as well. John, do you want to add your thoughts to this? Yeah, I mean we really feel that for developers, it's this global audience of highly engaged customers uh, is really the focus. I mean, the Amazon App Store is currently available in over 200 countries. There's more than 300 million active Amazon customers worldwide. So then if you overlay that on top of Windows 11 growth, the customer audience is large, it's growing, and it's global. And now let's address this. Who is the Amazon App Store for Windows 11 for? Yes, it's really for developers out there that are already have or are building Android games and apps. So if you're already shipping an app to the Amazon App Store, then you're just a few clicks away from potentially reaching hundreds of millions of additional devices and customers. Uh, and if your app is not yet uh, already available on the Amazon App Store, you know the, the opportunity has never been greater. Specifically, developers that have mobile games that can be easily playable with a keyboard and a mouse, that also is a, is a segment that we think will really enjoy and benefit from coming to Windows 11. Nice, and I wanna ask, how's it going so far? Well, it, it's still early days, uh, but the Amazon App Store on Windows is, as you mentioned, already available in uh, more than 30 countries. And we have a catalog of more than 50,000 apps and games. From the early data we're seeing across our top 10 uh, games, we've seen an average lift in engagement ranging from as low as 50% to as high as 8x when wow. compared to engagement uh, on other devices. Oh. So what we're seeing is that existing game customers are using their PC in different parts of the day. Mm -hmm. So you're meeting existing customers where they are throughout the day. But we're also seeing that uh, this PC customer base as a group of new customers. The majority of the customers that we're seeing actually on Windows 11 are new to the Amazon App Store. So we think we're enabling mobile developers to access an entirely new customer base as well. Lovely. And I think from, from a developer point of view, we want to keep that excitement going for them. So Zerna, I, I really would love for you to cover or, or talk to us about what's been some of the new things, exciting things we've introduced recently in the new release of WSA and what's coming soon. What should we developers be excited about? Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you asked that. WSA has been continually getting better each month thanks to the developer feedback. Over the last year, we've made considerable investments to improve our runtime boot performance graphics as well as deepen the Windows integration. I'm really excited to share that we've delivered support for Android 13 on WSA, along with our requested features like picture-in-picture -picture and support for app links. Developers are a top priority for WSA. We are listening to your feedback and making significant investments to bring support for file sharing, local network access, and most of all, better integration with Android Studio and Visual Studio. We have a variety of feedback channels, and we would love for your feedback to keep coming in. For issues during app development, we recommend using GitHub, while for other feedbacks, use uh, Feedback Hub. You can get the latest features in WSA by signing up for Windows Subsystem for Android Preview Program or the Windows Insider Program. We communicate regularly on our GitHub channel, so stay tuned. Awesome. And John? Yeah, I mean, for mobile developers, uh, our mission is to make building with the Amazon App Store as simple and as straightforward as possible. Uh, similar to Microsoft's investments in WSA, we're investing in upgrading our existing developer tools, uh, we're introducing new features to help engage customers. Our product and engineering teams are focused on just improving the developer experience. Mm -hmm. A specific example of that is the new input SDK that we plan to release this next month. It's yeah. a standardized way to educate users on how to seamlessly map keyboard strokes and mouse movements to actions in your game. 
Can't wait. Sounds like a lot of amazing investments we're making here. I think one of the things I'm sure our audiences that are watching the session want to know, how do they get engaged? What, how, what's the call to action for them? What do they do next? Easy. Just head to our developer portal. So specifically, uh, developer.amazon.com slash apps. Uh, and from there, uh, developers can dive into uh, our wide breadth of documentation for App Store and Windows 11. And you can even, uh, as a developer, you can sideload your app and try it out. So eventually, once you're ready to submit your app to launch on the Amazon App Store, make sure to use our developer portal contact form to select the Windows 11 dropdown, and we'll be off and running. Lovely. And you heard you developers, looks like we you know, heard the call to actions for you guys. And with that, um, I'd like to thank this team for being here. Uh, we're really excited to bring the session to you folks. Uh, I hope you you enjoyed, you've taken something out of it that, that helps you, benefits you, and you sign up for these links that we're sharing with you folks. Uh, enjoy the rest of your build and looking forward to doing more uh, and bringing more announcements related to WSA in the future with you guys, along with our partners at Amazon. Thank you, everybody.